section folded to Kenny Shi. Shi with pocket queens. He has a political science degree from Cal Berkeley. Born in Taiwan, raised in Southern California, and he has moved back to Taiwan. He sits with almost 4.8 million chips right now, well below the chip average. A raise to 260,000. OD will sit this one out. J.P. Kelly on the Jack Link's Beef Jerky hole cam with King 9 off. Like Irishman Owen OD, who's sitting next to him, Kelly got into the game by watching late night poker on British television. He's the first Brit to win a World Series of Poker Europe bracelet. If I were broadcasting late night poker, I would have told him to stay away from King 9 off. <laughs> no kidding. Kelly will not take the advice. A re-raise to 680,000. Guess he wants to play a pot with she. Makievsky folds. Brian Devonshire puts his cards in the muck. Now back to she. Kelly sensing weakness in she, but his weakness radar is on the fritz. Call. She just makes the call for 420,000 more. She's going to play pocket queens the way I would badly. What if an <laughs> ace or a king peels off on the flop? What do you do then, Kenny She? All right, heads up to the flop. And how about that? Quad queens for Kenny She, and you know how to play queens. <laughs> she checks. She was almost motionless. It's as if she thought if he moved a muscle, the flop would be invalidated. <laughs> Kelly, dead in the water, bets 525000 And I think she is going to try to call here without breathing or shifting any part of his body. <laughs> she, trying not to give anything away, as you said, just with a call. J.P. Kelly is behind, Lon. <laughs> you think? Turn card, four of hearts. Can Kenny She get any more out of Kelly? Another check from Kenny She. She blinked three times, then checked. I would have blinked only twice. <laughs> and look, no give up in J.P. Kelly. Wow. He bet a third of the pot on the flop. And here's a third once again, 900,000. There is drawing deadline, and there's drawing 60 feet under. <laughs> I've got to credit She. He looks worried. He always looks scared to death, though. Call. He announces call. By the way, Kelly's outs are listed on the top left of your screen. <laughs> the river card, tray of hearts. She checks again. That was a two blink check. He's getting better. Kelly, with a big stack of purple, put she all in. I call. You got it. Yeah, you call. Quickly, call. <laughs> million, right? Kelly will really have to turn up his hand. It was an all in call situation. And Kenny She doubles up to 9.8 million. Bad misread by Kelly, cost him half his stack. That's a certified blow up. Elsewhere at the outer tables, you're looking at Sam Barnhart, who holds Pocket Kings pre flop. Sam had four bet into Danielson Menezes from Brazil, who then moved all in. We're waiting for Barnhart's reaction. Barnhart's been sitting here with the Pocket Kings for a while, and he doesn't want to call. He has Menezes covered. Somebody can call the clock if they want to. I'm not going to do it. This is tough. Sorry, guys. Boy, Barnhart senses he might be beat. That's quite a sense. OK, this time I'm going to lay this down. Really? I won't lay it down again. He folds the kings. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Maybe he wants to show it. You want to show it for the camera? Are they going to turn his hand over? Can we see that hand? Show it. Show it. Can we turn it over? It's not aces. And there they are. I just had a feeling he had aces. I don't know. I mean, to me, that's the only way he can do. He had to have aces to do that. And then I thought, maybe queens. I thought he was bluffing. I had queens. I thought maybe he had queens there, but I'm thinking, no, you're not going to push on win. This is a big tournament here. It's pretty easy. What a lay down. All right, guys, Andy up. Andy Man, you don't know how close I came calling you. All right, let's get to an outer table. The second biggest stack in the room is Daryl Jason. Right now, he is mixing it up with two others. Jace on the left. Jace with deuces. Billy Paradiso raised all in with pocket kings. Action now on Don Wynn, who's holding pocket queens. Obviously, only two hands beat Wynn right now. But he's looking at some pretty big action in front of him. 
Don, one of 15 wins who started day three, the most popular name left in the main event. And he looks like he's given up the queens. He does. And a snap call from Jace with deuces. Boy, one smart fold, one not a smart call. And I can't believe how quickly Daryl Jace called that. It was for one third of his remaining stack, and at best he was going to be in a race. Paradiso in great shape to double, but there's a deuce in the window, and Jace makes the deuces sing. Or the 23-year-old Paradiso from Holiday, Florida, about to go on holiday from the main event. He is reeling after seeing that flop. Turn card, no help. So Paradiso, one card from elimination. He can't believe it. Jace accumulated a big stack, maybe by catching cards like this. Paradiso's pretty savvy. He's texting ahead for a cab. <laughs> He's got to have a king. The river card, the ace of spades, and the deuces knock out the kings. Oh. No time for a handshake, and Kara Scott better run to try to catch him. <laughs> Deep in the small blind with two aces. Yeah, but Sean has that king-queen suited poker face on right now. <laughs> he will repop it to 15,600 at a Max Heinzelman. And the big blind, ace six off. This German pro is pretty much a dead ringer for the animated poker character Max Rolfs from the Micros. What do you yes, think? Yes, I agree. But whatever is running through Heinzelman's head right now, Lon, has never run through my head. Two raises in front of him, and he's got A6 off. Wow. Deeb with the pocket aces with the re-raise. K with the original raise with pocket tens. And now Heinzelman re-pops it to 31-3 with his weak ace. Heinzelman just four bet into a three-way pot with A6 off. Ah, to be 21 again with no credit card debt. That gets rid of K. Now to Deeb. Sean Deeb now in the catbird seat. With the aces. And Deeb is going to pump up the action to 68,600. Yeah, that's what we call a legitimate five bet, son. Okay, whatever is running through Heinzelman's head right now, Lon, had better <laughs> never run through my head. I know these guys have history online, but this is an automatic fold, no? All in, All in and a snap call. Heinzelman playing for his role. Oh, sure, the, the standard six bet all in with a 6% hand. Heinzelman with a huge misstep against Deep. All right, here's the flop. Heinzelman at risk. 10-6 king. Deep still good. Josh K, what a flop to set. Heinzelman now with a 9% hand. Turn card, queen of hearts, each with a Broadway draw now. So Heinzelman now needs a jack to chop the pot with a straight or a six, or he is wamboozled. And the river card. Oh, oh, and Heinzelman gets there with the six, winning that huge pot from Sean Deeb. Well, for Heinzelman's sake, thank goodness Deeb does not feel Helmuth. Deeb now crippled, and I believe we have found our next main event champion line. My goodness, Heinzelman now the chip leader at this table. That was ridiculous. Well, for a little clarity on what just happened, let's check in with Andy Block. This hand will be talked about for years and years at the World Series of Poker. A six bet pre-flop with A6 offsuit by Heinzelman. When he four bet with A6 and got five bet by Deeb, you'd think most players would lay the hand down. But Heinzelman decided, hey, I don't think my opponent has aces. I've got an ace. If he got kings, I can still win. And he might lay down queens or jacks. I'm going to put him to the test for all the chips. Unfortunately for him, he guessed wrong. Deeb had the aces. Lucky for him, though, is he did make three sixes and win a huge pot. At one of the 16 outer tables, Ukrainian Anton Makievsky pinning his main event hopes on pocket queens against the ace queen of Andrew Ferguson. These players have virtually identical stacks. Ferguson with a chance for a knockout. Here's the flop. And an ace in the window for Ferguson sends Makievsky to the edge of the edge. The flop devastates Makievsky. Turn card now, six of diamonds, no help. We saw Makievsky with one foot out the door earlier on day four. Now both his feet way out the door. Only the last queen in the deck would save Makievsky. The river card, and there is the queen! The case queen saves Makievsky's main event. Well, he started with the best hand, and he finished with the best hand, but in between, it looked bleak. <laughs> Andy Ferguson now crippled. You mentioned they began the hand with almost identical stacks. Ferguson left with just 14,000. Live poker is so rare. 